It's the kind of beat to go Hey guys, what's going on? It's Joey, and if you're here looking for some epic Deadshot gameplay and a little info on this wonderful playable character, you're in the right place at World Zombie Nation, Nation, guys. Welcome, and I hope you guys will enjoy this video, because I'm really looking forward to this, because the Deadshot is definitely on my top 5 list of super swaggy, OP, super cool, awesome units. <laughs> but yeah, it's really cool units, guys. It is what you could call Fi. It is a fire unit. I don't even know why I said that, but I felt like saying it. It's a lot of fun, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into it. It is a sniper, as you can see, pretty obviously. Decked out in some sweet gray, light gray, white camo. Pretty sweet, guys. But it's a really good unit. And he's different than the normal sniper. He's got some extra little oomph. So let me go ahead and read the description here and give you kind of the whole breakdown of what it says right here. The Deadshot knows the mission. Put hot lead right between the eyes of on. Coming mutated zombies, a very powerful long range unit, Tar targets mutated zombies first and cannot fire in melee range, that's a little of a downfall, but the real key component here is the target of the mutated zombies first. Now that's very good because one, it's not really looking for the drones, it's looking for those super powerful mutated zombies, which are pretty much going to cause the most damage to your survivor squad. So this is a very key team member that you can have on your team that will really be very welcome so if you get one of these i definitely highly recommend upgrading as far as you can and using it because i know when i'm in using gameplay that it comes in great handy when you're going against harbingers and delivery men because it's able to get those right off the bat right out of the spawn and it's very nice especially when you got some biohazards sitting in the back some spitters sitting in the back if you want to go take those guys out and not worry about those drones it's really really helpful i gotta say so let me go ahead and throw, show you guys some of these perks and what we have here. So we have college shot, 5% chance of dealing 200% damage. Y'all know what that is. Pretty much he just, he just has the option of one shot just causing an unreal amount of damage. Pretty much taking out that guy for sure. Another one, the dog is barking. Goodness gracious. Uh, sorry, guys. Um, close quarters allows firing in melee range. Now, this is very nice because it's not able to fire in melee range. When it's pretty much in a close proximity around the dead shot, it's not going to be able to fire at him. It's very difficult. It's very similar with the machine gunner. It just doesn't see him, doesn't do anything. That can be a problem, but you can get that if you want. Now, the other perk you have to pick from in that level is the headshot. 15% chance to deal 300 damage. Now, I would personally go for the melee range because one, you already have this perk right up here for the 5% chance of dealing 200%. And especially when you upgrade it a lot, I, I don't know. I would per personally rather have this close quarters perk, but that's just me. Either I'd actually go either way, but that's just my personal preference right there. Level 20, you get an in increased deployment size. That's always nice. Get an extra dead shot out there. I love that one. Fast fingers reduces cooldown by 5%. That's a little bit quicker. You're going to get a couple more shots off a little bit quicker. That's very nice. And then this one is increased damage by 20%. Now, either one could be very good. Now, if you're up at level 30, he's going to be he's gonna be dealing a lot of damage already. So... It really comes down to what you want. If you'd rather him shooting fire, killing more zombies a little bit quicker, I'd go with this perk. Now, the increased damage, eh, it's, it depends how what you're looking at. If you're looking at some crazy, powerful Dreadnought Titans, you may want to go with this damage. If not, you're going to go for that uh, Fast Fingers perk right there. Uh, once you get to 40, you get increased deployment size. Always love that. And this one right here, Explosive Shot, Attacks, Effect, and Area. So... Kind of like a similar biohazard type attack. You're going to fire that shot. Going to have a little bit of a small Aurora type explosion. That's actually really cool. I like that. That's really fancy. Full auto occasionally rapidly shoots three times in a row, but then has to reload. Now, that is a crazy perk, I've got to say. Three shots from a dead shot is unreal. Like, that's scary good. Because that's three, major mu three mutated zombies, maybe only one. But that, they're going to be taking a lot of damage there. That's a very cool perk. I don't even know which one I'd pick. I don't. If I ever got there, it'd be a really tough choice. But that's that, guys. I hope you enjoyed that little description go through. But now we're going to get some attacking in because you, who doesn't want to see this thing at work? So we're going to go ahead and attack at, let's see, how much team power do we have? Let me go check real quick. 2,235. That is wonderful. Let's go check out this area right up here. Let's go check out Cairo on no that's a little too, too much for us let's go check out rio de janeiro on hard we'll go ahead and fight that we're gonna borrow uh, i think we're gonna borrow machine gun if we can but we can't we're gonna go with that commando and we're gonna go ahead and fight we're gonna continue because i'm feeling lucky feeling a little bit good about this one hopefully we're not gonna run into too much crazy stuff here maybe some nice straightaways maybe i don't know wishful thinking 
but perfect i love this okay so right off the bat we have some runners some brutes and oh those are not runners my bad those are what are they daredevils i believe that's what they are and they are pretty good so over here we have two dead shots here two dead shots to put out and use so with that being said we're gonna have to put in plants accordingly now i'm gonna put one dead shot over here just behind this wall here and we're just going to put a bunch of commandos here. Let me go ahead and put some extra firepower there. Now, that dead shot's going to be there for taking out any of those brutes or delivery men that come through. And are we only having one wave of each here? Or are we having three waves of each? I'm not even sure. But we're going to have the second dead shot right on over here. Throw that guy back a little bit. Let me throw down some extra snipers here. Probably shouldn't put all those guys down, but I did. So be it. Let me go ahead and put some guys over here as well. Put some commandos right up close here. Put some snipers back here. And over here, we're not going to have any. We're not going to have the wonderful company of a dead shot. But it is A-OK. -okay. Let me go ahead and put that guy right there. So we're pretty set here. We have a ton of snipers plus the dead shot on this top right corner here. Got a couple snipers over here in the bottom left as well to help out. And left corner over here by this spawn point right here. We got a bunch of mercenaries and some commandos and then right over here We got the dead shot accompanied by more commandos and a mercenary So let's get and start this wave here now first group is coming right out the bat right out the gate here That delivery man was a little bit too close for comfort, but the dead shot I don't even know if the dead shots picking off these guys They're just picking off by themselves, but right off the bat They're getting picked off with no problem. See when they're in that little group of drones right there, that dead shot's going to pick them off. No worries at all. It's very, very, very nifty. So let me go and see if I can show you guys right over here. So as you can see, that brute is just coming up right in the front. And that dead shot is really honing in on that mutated zombie. He's not really focusing as much on those drones. But when there's not a mutated zombie, he's definitely going to be dealing damage to those drones. So it's very, very nice. Now, I really do like the dead shot. Comes in handy a lot on straightaways. Maybe not this type of map. This map may not be the perfect example. But it definitely does come in handy in pretty much almost every single situation. Because if you have just some crazy powerful units that are just camping in the back, you can't get to them any other way. That dead shot's going to be perfect. And really, any chance you're just focusing on mutated zombies, it's going to be really nice. Let me go ahead and send these waves here. We're going to send two daredevils, two daredevils and two colossuses. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So, these guys are going down pretty quick, pretty easily. Not too worried here. We're really taking this guys out. We want to speed this up, but that's pretty much the dead shot, guys. I pretty much explained it a lot, but you pretty much, I'm sure you've got the basic gist for it here. It's a really great troop. If you can get your hands on one, I highly recommend using it a whole lot and upgrading that bad boy as fast as possible. But guys, we did clear that. We got 500 trophies, 755 XP plus that 23 bonus, 3,360 cans plus 101 bonus and 26 guild points. So guys, I really do hope you enjoyed. It was tons of fun making this video. And I had tons of fun playing with the Dutch shot, but guys, I hope you did enjoy. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for